This short video demonstrates the basic features of the attack editor. To recover a password, millions of possible passwords are checked. You might change the way the passwords are checked because you know some information about the password. This can decrease the time needed to recover a password. The attack editor window is divided into three parts. On the left, you see available actions and details. In the middle are the attacks which will be run. On the right is an attack tree which lists available attacks and attack modifiers. For this example, I will configure attacks to recover a password that starts with a word. The first letter is J, followed by a year number, for example, Jeff2009. I remove all the attacks before I start the configuration process. The join attacks group will put the dictionary word and the year number together. I drag the attack to the attack list. The next step is to add a dictionary attack. This attack checks all the words from a dictionary. I drag the attack and set the pattern J asterisk. This means that the first letter of the word is J. An asterisk matches any characters. Configured this way, the attack checks for passwords like Jacob, Java, Joel, June, etc. The last attack is Brute Force. This attack checks all the possible combinations of characters. I drag the attack, making it join the dictionary attack, and change the password length and symbol set. Configured this way, the attack checks for passwords like 0000, 0001, 0002, etc. Now it is time to start the password recovery process. The password has been found.